Birthday celebrations, but still look like you and A. John. See a light on her good days. See a sprint when they. So I am currently headed to go speak on a panel for Queens Uplifted. Um, I have on this simple little all black outfit with a hint of maroon. I am tired. I forgot my cherry. But it's fine, I wanted to do big hair. This is a carefree a panel. So that's that. Hopefully I'm not too late. There's about seven of us on the panel. Um, I did read over the questions, but I didn't honestly like look at them. But I am always a carefree black girl. So I don't think the answers will be too strenuous or something that I can't answer. Um, and if I don't know something, my answer is always be yourself. Um, in a world full of others, be yourself. I should be as a black woman. And so this idea of being a carefully, carefree black woman means that you are constantly rebellion, but you actually have to be, you have to have some level of wokeness, right? Mm -hmm. To say that these are the things that are boxing me in and telling me that I should be this way in life and do all these things. To say that I'm going to be carefree means that I'm going to live my life on my own terms. I'm going to, because being carefree is all about identity, right? Mm -hmm. Saying who I am, who I'm not going to be, who gets to decide for me. Spaces quickly, yes. So, of course, I told you all I worked out here at Southern Miss for 22 years, and I was the only black uh, person in my department. And so, yes, I've had to be in that space and really think about who I was, right? 
I wanted to be at the table of decision making. Mm -hmm. So that's why I said we have to have balance. Mm -hmm. You use the word right. code switch in one of my favorite right. words. Mm -hmm. And sometimes people say that you shouldn't have to code switch. You should just be who you are all the time. Mm -hmm. And yeah, mm -hmm. so yeah. So we, I do code switch. I am who I am all the time, but I feel like I'm complex enough, right? To switch it up. <clears throat> and so when I go to work, there are certain ways I talk. I enunciate every word with clarity, <laughs> right? When I'm with my family, ain't no telling what I'm a sound. Like, right? And so all I'm saying is that, but all of that stuff is within me. And I think that's the beauty of who we are. The fact that we can switch it up and we know how and we know when to switch it up. And right. And I right? Okay, um, so I don't know how to basically formulate my question, but like having this carefree um, theme for the year has honestly triculated itself into my personal life and um, my self is kind of building into a leadership. And I've, I've kind of put these burdens on myself before I even let other people do it. Um, I'm a leader, people are watching me, you know, I need to code switch and I need to hold myself to this high standard. And I feel like sometimes I, I lose myself. Like I went through a whole battle with who I was, my identity, my sexuality, my like religious, like I've been going through it, trying to figure out how to be carefree be myself, still be that leader, still be this strong person, you know, and still hold it all together. So I guess I'm like, I'm coming into terms with I can be who I am and I can be in spaces that don't look like me and I can still be all these great things. So I guess what is y'all's like advice on, on juggling like all the things? So that's actually usually how we end these. What's yeah. one piece of advice that you can give all these women in this room that will address her question? Let's go all five of you very, very quick. <laughs> 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 Um, I would say you have to know who you are and who you are first. Mm. Um, culture is great, but if you don't, if you're not connected to the maker, how can you exist within life? Um, to me, spirit first, and then that spirit is my rock and my connection, and I commune with with him, and I understand that it's a relationship, and then from there, other things can form. Yes. So, I also want to say, code switching also is like being able to interface, interface in all rooms, which is everyone has, everyone has said, but it's also not lo losing yourself in that room. Yeah. Um, you still exist. Once you get in that room, sometimes there's not even a table there that they recognize that. Right. You sometimes bring the table. Yeah. Yeah. So it's also yeah. able yeah. to stay in that room yeah. and yeah. 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 understand. And there's a reason that you made it to that room. Okay. Right. Yeah. For a reason. Okay. Okay. Maybe so you can bring somebody else in. Because mm -hmm. a lot of things that I have to go through now when I'm meeting with certain people is giving them to understand that diversity and inclusion is not the same thing. Right. 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 Are you including my opinions? Are you taking me? me up under your arms and teaching me what you know so I can tell somebody else. Right. Mm -hmm. There's a difference. So when you're cold switching, it's all for your benefit, but it's not just being selfish. It's so you can help somebody else. Right. If you understand that, then you're fine. Don't lose yourself in that cold switch. Right. Yeah, you become Khadijah, then you become Khadijah. Right. <laughs> if you're able to exist in both bodies, you are perfectly fine and help the next woman. Because we're all about opening doors and holding that door open so the next person can open space and walk in and hold the doors open.
Hello, YouTube. Welcome to Catching Up with KC. Hey, y'all. Period. Period. Boom. Period. Period. Why they try to crap me out of this picture? Ain't that something not against you? Pussy and mimosa. Oh, 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 I'm about to you want to get down on your knees for a picture, but you just get it. You know what I'm saying? Why not? It's J, not J. Instagram. Uh, JL underscore 63. Uh, Snapchat, yeah. Facebook. And then there's J. Y'all gonna be in all these videos and pictures, okay? I don't know. DJ trying to crack me out of his kids. Go ahead now. Bring him in more seats. Huh? Bring him in more seats. Bring him in more seats. Bring him in more seats. No, we got three apartments over there. What's up? Like no, it ain't not. Can you clean up? No, it ain't not. Oh, y'all, look at our new hat. I like to walk in the car. They got it. Right. We parked her. Or, or, or. Or, or, or. Go around. I think I'm going to date this. Good job. You're going to date this. Shop value for teaching we the best work in Hattiesburg and best work in the state. Uh, get at me Instagram, IG, Facebook, Twitter, it's all the same. That's value for teachers. So I am currently leaving church, headed to Whitley's birthday brunch. Let me take off my sunglasses so you guys can see me. Um, so yeah. Um, I am currently leaving church. The service was good. Pastor Willie really talked about um, being prepared in secrecy. And when I tell you, that was a true message. I think, it, I know that message was for me. That message was for me. It was, that's all I can say. It was for me because, you know, I really feel like God is preparing me in this moment. I feel like I'm in this moment of preparation and God is preparing me. You know, he's doing all these different things in my life. He's showing me all these, you know, sides to people and just giving me all these different situations that I really need to be prepared for for this next level in my life. Um, and I'm a strong believer in there's a reason for everything. Things happen because things happen. But there is a reason for those things happening. And that's it. <laughs> but no, seriously though, um, I'm leaving church. I am headed to well, we we'll push our brunch back to 2.30, so I have about an hour and a half time to kill. Um, I think I'm going to run at Target because I do have to go. Well, I'm already on the other side of town. Um, I think I'm going to run into Target and see if I can find something on clearance for graduation. I don't want to buy a graduation dress because, like I've been saying, my graduation is at night time. But I am looking for different things for my photo shoot if I do end up doing a graduate photo shoot. I'm broke. <laughs> um, no, I don't think I like that. Um, but yeah, so this is what I'm at. I am going to do probably two outfit changes. I think I want to do a, I really wanted a mustard blazer pants set. I can't find one that has a collar on it. I found one that didn't have a collar. I don't really like the idea of that. Um, I just think that would be so fire. Considering this is like my last Southern Miss photo shoot. So I had to scratch that idea. And I think I'm going to go with a... Well, I don't know if it's mustard or yellow. It's probably more yellow than it is mustard. Or gold, like um, pencil skirt. Probably with the button down. I'm probably gonna do um, my like real fancy tie shirt. Um, and I'll think about shoes 
I have plenty of shoes. I have been worn. I have plenty of options. Um, so that's not a major thing. Um, I don't have anything well I have a lot of stuff to do this week so I have to go home and do homework after brunch but other than that I'm really focused on I think tr today I'm gonna try to like when I leave here I'm going to try to do everything that I need to do for the week I think that's what I'm gonna do I think that'll be good the queen of the hour has finally arrived <laughs> Shirt. Fuck me, get your hey, hey, hey. Get your money, bitch. Get your money. Hey, hey. hey. Money, my toe. <laughs> Live life. My money. toe. So we're brunch, you guys, and I got the catfish plate. I'm gonna get a little corn right here. With Brussels sprouts and fried green tomatoes, of course. The cream cheese. Um, Chill's got the cream cheese. Oh, and and she got the lobster. I told you. 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 Yeah, that's what I'm Yeah, look at my food. I'm gonna be with your mom. 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 I'm gonna be your mom. I'm gonna be with 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 your mom. i am going to that's a lot of that's a lot of yeah, First of all, that's not the advice I want. <laughs> that's not the advice I want. How do you find number two? After you found number one. How do you find number two? No, but and then how do you find number three after you found number two? Well, number two, I pursued number two. Okay. Number three, it was by fate. Okay. We, we work in a position number three. How do I got my food, girl? Thank you. But, um, yeah, the advice is just be sure for real, for real. You can eat that now? I'm gonna taste it. Can I taste it? Oh, I'm mashed my lettuce. I just want a little corner. It, it, it does look good. Corner. I'm gonna put my mouth on this one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I do the right uh, thing. Not, not this one. There you go. I just. Lily, really, do you have any advice? Any advice? Get your money, bitch. <laughs> Fuck these bitches. Put your shirt out, girl. Put your shirt out. Put your shirt out. This is the advice I give. That's the money. Yeah, that's the money. Bring your finger. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm doing too much. Are you still, are you still recording? Yeah. yeah, I'm still recording. Okay. okay. I'm a pro at this. This is. Let me. Let me. This is. I gotta say. Uh, Security disclaimer, okay? Before I say this, it's okay to love men and to want a man, but honey, you got to get your money and say, fuck this nigga so tight. You got to say, fuck this nigga and get your money. Hey, hey. I can't believe your mom made that, though. I can't. Dad, <laughs> any advice? My mother in law always likes you with advice. Wait, my mother in law cool like you. Oh, travel, <laughs> cool. travel and see the world by yeah, yourself. Advice, that's okay. <laughs> She's vlogging about advice for the young yeah. women out there. Shells, oh, okay. what is your like? Um, it can be whatever. What's your advice? Uh, well, since we were talking about love. Make sure you love yourself Ooh, that's before you try to love anyone. Because these titties look really good. Ooh, girl. 
You should have told me that. She's going to give her beautiful soma. 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 But for real though, make sure you love yourself before you try and love anyone. Because you can't give yourself to anyone until you love your ex. Look at her, she's looking in that camera. Yeah. Oh, I'm looking at like, oh, philosophical. She got me all drunk and stuff. <laughs> Get your love to take, Ashley. Get your love to take. It's how I take two. Okay. And two. I'm going to go follow Khadija right now. I still mean what I said first time. <laughs> you got to be 100 kazillion, bazillion percent sure that you're ready to be married before you put a ring on. Period. 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 Okay. This is, this is really important for me. Although I love my hood men, it's very important that you get someone who... It's beneficial to you. We want someone who can add value to us, not just financially, although that's the plus, but beneficial to who you are, what makes you the person you are. And also, if you have children, it's also a good influence on your children. Because if they're going to be your man, they're going to be your kids. So you need someone who can do that and not just dig you down and they bring any kind of benefits to your life. Hey, hey, <laughs> hey, friends with benefits. Right, a man with benefits. Well, I tried the friends with benefits. I don't know how to do that. I tried that. I, I don't know I how to do, do it. it. I don't I think I, I'm, I'm not capable of it either. I, I can't do it. I got very emotional. So I had to let it go. Man, y'all remember I was tripping on me. Yeah, baby boy. Look, it makes you feel so happy. But it can also make you feel so low. <laughs> Whoa! Love can make you feel so high. It also makes you feel so low. <laughs>
Doggy, those bone blowouts.